All right, we're going to do some uh, silver soldering today um, on some parts for my uh, steam engine, but uh, I'm going to do a couple of other examples as well. Um, we need a few things. We need some uh, map gas. Well, you don't need map gas. You can do it with some butane or some propane, but uh, it just takes a bit longer. And if you want to do it a bit quicker, you know, and you've got some oxycetylene, then Oh, you're probably not watching this video because you probably already know how to do it, but anyway. We've got the rods, they're one millimeter rods. We've got some uh, silver flux or silver brazing flux. And we've got some pickling, um, more commonly known as pickle. You mix that up and it's for cleaning the components uh, after you've silver soldered. Um, you want a little tub to mix some solder up. You can use it dry. If you just warm the end of the uh, rod and dip it in the solder, it'll stick to the rod. But anyway, this is roughly what you need. And of course, you need some um, you need some parts to solder. Um, in this case, we've got these. We're going to solder these, but I've got no way of holding them, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on these before we can get round to soldering them. Sorry, you didn't, uh, you didn't see that very well, did you? It was, it was off the edge, but anyway, that, that's, uh, that's what we... Right, I've got to find a way to, to hold this, but um, now I've got the clamps on it, it won't go in the vise, so I've put these couple of little, um, well, what they are, they're, they're little tool holders off my mini lathe. Um, I'm going to put those in there, and then this should fit nicely in between there. as it does. So that now sits down nice and flat on there and I can now clamp that to hold it. I don't need much pressure on that, I'm only doing one and a half millimeter holes but that will hold that now in position while I just drill a couple of holes in there, put some screws in so that I can solder it otherwise I've got no way of um, holding it when I come to solder it. But I can I can soon fill that up with some. Uh, I'll make a little dowel pin and put in there. Um, anyway, this is the idea. So now that's held in position there. What I need to do is get this plate. This plate now can be fixed. I can screw that down onto there. Um, I don't need to film all of that, but that's what I'm going to do. I'll screw that plate onto there, and then I'm going to screw the other one onto there and then that will hold it all nicely in place for when I silver solder it. Now I've put these countersunk screws in and what I'm going to do because the solder is going to probably run into the screws and I won't be able to get them out I've sort of pre-planned for that by putting countersink in and what I can do is I can just mill them off or file them off flush and um, that'll be okay that'll look uh, that'll look okay once it's done. Alright, I've got the uh, the two brackets done now. They're screwed together so that I can now silver solder them. When I originally started on them, I was going to um, I was going to just tack weld the ends and the corners, and then I thought, no, I'll I'll braze them. But brazing them will 
just sort of run everywhere. They don't need a great deal of um, support, but uh, that's that's how they uh, that's how they go anyway. Um, up against the cylinder, obviously, or the cylinder or the crank liner, I think it is. Um, not quite sure what you call it, but anyway, that that's how they're going to be when they're silver soldered. So they they don't need to be massively strong because. I'm not going to use this engine. Um, I build the models just um, for the finished result, you know, just because I like looking at them and like um, building them. That's not going to be in use every day. I'll probably run it once on air and, and that's about it. And then the rest of the time it'll um, sit in the cabinet looking pretty. I know some people will uh, probably think that's a waste, but um, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But um, that's just what I like to do. and. Uh, that's just how it is anyway. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Unfortunately, due to a, a technical error on my part, I lost all of the footage of the um, silver soldering, but um, as you can see here, they're uh, now soldered together and I've put a, a coat of uh, primer on them just to keep them from rusting until I get round to um, finally finishing and uh, painting them. As you can see, I uh, fired the heads off of the screws that I put in, they're still in there. Um, you can't see them anymore. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and to show your appreciation for the time and effort put into making these videos, please consider subscribing and hit the like button and I'll catch you next time.